Hey, my name is Emily and I'm in my final semester of my double degree. I'm doing a subject at the moment called Digital Asia and we basically have to interact with a niche form of digital Asian media. But I realised I've never had Korean food before, which is crazy living in Sydney, Australia, such a multicultural city to have never had Korean food. And I thought, I'm going to try Korean food for my digital artifacts. And what better way to try Korean food for the first time than through the YouTube trend that started in South Korea, mukbang. So mukbang um, in Korean directly translates to eating broadcast. So it's basically where YouTubers film themselves eating copious amounts of food. And you know, I've never had Korean food before. I want to try a few things. So I'm going to be eating copious amounts of Korean food on a broadcast, a mukbang broadcast. And I couldn't do this without some soju. So I have bought some soju. But basically mukbang originated when the digital age started to sort of take off. People who lived alone were using it as a way of eating with other people. It was a social thing to broadcast them eating their food. In, in Korea, food, is, food and eating is a really social thing. Um, so when you do live alone and you don't have that opportunity to eat with your family or your friends, it's a perfect opportunity. You're connecting with people through... The digital realm and yeah it becomes a social thing i personally live alone um and through lockdown that's not been the easiest thing so maybe i should have been doing this all along uh, i'm gonna go get the food soon and i'll be back here's the soju i got green grape i didn't realize how strong it is 3.7 drinks in this small thing, as if I haven't had it before, honestly. Okay, and oh my lord, <laughs> smells amazing. So this is the kimchi fried rice. And then we've got the bulgogi beef. And then we've got the fried chicken. All right, let me try this. <laughs> it's got a little egg. Beautiful. And a hash brown, that's interesting. That's really good. And it's spicy. Mmm. Mmm. I really like that. Yum. Okay, so I should probably mention, I was, I've been vegetarian for, um, like a year, so this is like my first time eating meat, um, in a while. So this is a bulgogi beef, it's really nice. I don't think it's nice enough that I wouldn't be, continue being vegetarian, or pescatarian, I'm pescatarian, but... It's really nice. Mmm. And that. Ooh. Chef's kiss. Kimchi. I think I didn't think I would like it because I don't like pickled stuff, you know? This is nice. Mmm. I'm gonna try the chicken. I haven't had chicken in so long. And it's so ripping. It's so awesome. Mm. Oh. Yum. Oh, it's spicy. Yum. Mm. I feel like there's no bone in it. 
That's so much better than fried chicken that's not Korean fried chicken because there's always the bone that you have to like gnaw around. Gnaw? Yeah. Eat around. Alright. I need a sip after that. I really don't think I should be drinking this from the bottle. I think it's more of a shot. Yeah, anyway. It is what it is. Okay, back to the chicken. This chicken is so good. Also, I apologize about the child. I think it's its bedtime. It's quarter past seven. It's crying a lot. I think it's its bedtime. But apologies, he's really ruining my video. Just try and focus on the food, not on the kid. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hear that crunch? Kimchi. I'm obsessed with this. Flavor is so good. Oh, I love it. And so I didn't realize that I was getting this from a place I wanted to go to. The name on the delivery, because I got it on the delivery app, but I just went and got it. It's easier that way. I don't have to talk to anyone on the phone. Digital life. Um, but the place it was called, it was called Eat Now Korean Food on the app. But when I go there, I'm like, there's no way here called Eat Now. But then there's this restaurant that I wanted to go to, which is like a Korean Mexican fusion restaurant. And I was like, surely it's not that place. But it was. So, I'm getting a taste of the food. Like, I don't think they sell this stuff at the restaurant because it's a fusion. So, it's kind of like they do, like, a kimchi burrito kind of thing. Which, if this is the kimchi that they produce there, I cannot wait to have that kimchi burrito. That sounds so good. Mm. Probably get some salad. This is like three people's dinner. <laughs> Just means I have leftovers. <laughs> and this is the veggie one. It's the reason I'm veggie, I guess. Although, that chicken is so good. The beef is okay. It's good. But, I guess I've never really been much of a fan of like beef anyway or like pork I like lamb I liked lamb I liked chicken I liked bacon actually is there bacon in this I feel like there might be bacon in this am I getting um Um, there's bacon in this. It's not veggie. I have always liked bacon, but I don't like pork. What does that? What does that mean? Mm. That's bacon. Interesting. Wow. I'm like fully. I mean, if I'm going to break it, I may as well break it with bacon, beef, chicken. Go hard or go home. This has been fun. <laughs> it's been nice to chat to someone, even if it's just you, Susan. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to end it now. Bye.